this is my Skag Turf Tiger with a 61 inch deck. And over there is some mud. So I have my zero turn completely stuck in the mud. I don't know if you've ever been there before, if you're a solo owner operator, <laughs> it's not fun. So I've come up with this idea. If you can't like unhook your truck from the trailer and drive around in the yard, cause you might tear the yard up or there might be a drain field or irrigation, whatever. I have an idea I think is gonna work. It's uh, this is actually a video I've been wanting to make for probably a couple years. It's like, you know, one of those ideas that kind of spins in your mind and I've thought about it, but never acted on it. Today is finally the day I'm excited. I have all the stuff I need. We're gonna see if this works. All right, so stay tuned. Let me grab my stuff and we'll get started. my equipment that I have this is uh, what they call it I don't know in the industry I worked in we call it come along it's a Dayton manual ratchet puller all right so we'll use this right here first I'm gonna set this off to the side a minute um, these two ratchet straps these are shock straps right here cargo straps I have these anchor ground anchor screws these are probably like 12 inch I'm guessing so if you're gonna screw them into the ground you're not familiar if there's like irrigation or electric lines it's a good idea to check with the homeowners and see but if you're getting it stuck there's a good chance it's not like right near the house it's usually a ways away like in this situation right here so i'm gonna show you how you put these down and you can get this steel spike this is like a concrete anchor spike it's very cheap it has those holes in it and this works really well for uh twisting that in the ground so if you had an oversized screwdriver that might work too but this is like an 18 inch spike I just uh, took the tip and ground it down a little bit because that can kind of be a little sharp when you're twisting around all right so let's let's go over here I'll kind of show you how this works so I'm gonna have to probably pull this forward probably about five or six feet would be ideal so I'm gonna go up further and screw these two things in the ground you may be able to do it with just one, but my idea is to use two, and then you can have like a V-shape, hook your cargo strap to it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to hook one of the cargo straps between those two orange ground stakes. I'm gonna hook the other cargo strap between the two posts of the mower. Then we're gonna use that ratchet or that we're gonna use that cable puller and uh, hook it between the two straps and we have to release the to be the most effective on the hydraulic uh, pumps right there there's a release so you can have a free wheel so if you're not familiar with that put a comment down below I'll explain a little more in detail but if you own a zero turn more with a skag or an X mark you just loosen those two things on the hydraulic pumps All right, so I'm excited now the sun came out and I have a 16 millimeter socket right here. This is what you use to 
release the hydraulic pumps and get that freewheel effect. Okay, took the pressure off. Now the wheel should rotate very smooth. So now I just need to go over to that cable puller, start ratcheting it, and we should be good to go. So I do have to admit, I have never tried this before. It's been on my list to do for like a couple years. I'm excited that this quick, simple setup will work. All right, keep your fingers crossed. All right, we're ready to get started. My biggest fear is those two stakes will just pull right out of the ground. The ground's very wet. I do have a lot of clay here, but you know, we'll see what happens. Ideally, you could have somebody on the mower like going forward as you're pulling this up and out, you know, putting some weight on the back tires and uh, going forward. Let's see how it's going so far. The stakes are moving, but they uh, haven't come out of the ground. They're, they're definitely leaning towards the mower. See where we're at here. Oh, it looks like we moved uh, about a looks like we moved about a foot so far. Keep going here. All right. For some reason, that wheel is not turning. And make sure I have that. No, I guess it's just so slippery, it's just getting in the mud. All right, so we moved uh, a couple feet. I have uh, about two more feet to go. I probably should have made this a little further out, but I think we'll be good. Oh, there it goes. ground which I'm almost there we are there all right all right I'm very excited I really kind of had a feeling this would work I haven't really checked the internet to see like if anybody else has come up with this idea but it just seemed very simple, like using those ground spikes. Like if you're not pulling straight up, but you're pulling to the side, that those would really set in and having two would definitely give you a lot of leverage like for pulling with that uh, cable puller right there. So I'm very excited. It looks like we can get out from here. We're gonna start this up and then uh, head on out. So right now I'm just gonna put some things away, take those, uh, Anchor screws out, take the straps off. I'm just gonna tighten down the bolts to the hydraulic pumps. And I think we're gonna be on our way. All right, friends, so if you like this idea right here for a video, if you find it helpful at all, please put a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps support my channel. That's it, friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you want to connect with me throughout the week, please check me out on Twitter and Instagram. Alright friends, enjoy.